And tip number seven is gonna be all about following up with the nurse. So once you've given them a report, you're gonna probably be giving some other nurses reports too. Usually it's very lucky if you get the same nurse to have all your patients. It doesn't necessarily happen that way, but sometimes it happens. Um, but not, um, if you give a report to someone else, make sure you follow up with the nurse, ask them if they have any questions, ask them if they have um, any outstanding questions, concerns about a patient's status or anything that, that you had disclosed to them already, um, just to make sure that everything is out there in the air because once you leave, you leave. And I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have had it happen where I'll go home and I'll be like, crap, I forgot to tell the nurse about this or I forgot to tell them about, you know, they needed this or they needed that or something, right? I think a lot of us nurses have done that, right? Where you go home and you're just like, oh my gosh, you totally forgot about telling a nurse something or you think you told them or you think you didn't tell them, but then you end up calling them and like making sure. So just make sure you follow up with the nurse, make sure they don't have any other questions and just kind of go from there. So we're going to kind of just kind of recap a little bit. So the very first thing we talked about was making sure that you're starting early. So make sure you repair your stuff as early as possible to make sure it's all organized, ready to go for whenever you need to give that report to the nurse. Next, make sure you're communicating um, clearly to the nurse. So make sure everything you're telling them is very clear. Make sure if you're using any sort of abbreviations for anything, they're understanding what you're talking about. Make sure everything's clear. Make sure they understand. Third thing, make sure you're prioritizing all the information. So if there's any outstanding labs that you haven't looked at, or if there are labs that have, you know, high number, low number, if they're needing replacements, anything that is of a concern that is a priority, if they have a, a, a stat MRI that they need to go to, anything that is of a concern, right? Like a priority for a patient that needs to be given, or maybe there was an antibiotic that was missed that you didn't quite get done before the shift, and they need this antibiotic hung like ASAP, right? You want to make sure that the nurse is aware of like absolute priority things that need to be done for a patient. So make sure you guys are doing that. Then the next thing, making sure you're using a standard format, like I showed you guys with the SBAR sheet and that report sheet. Those are very, very helpful and able for you to kind of brain dump all of your information onto so that when it comes to giving the report to the nurse later, you have all that information and it's organized and concise and you can just go right down the line and give your report. So make sure you guys have something like that. You can always try anyone and everyone's different kinds because I know we're all different as far as what works for us. Try different ones, see which one works best for you. Um, next would be making sure you're confirm the understanding with the nurse, make sure they're understanding everything that you're telling them. If they're asking questions, um, make sure you're providing the context. Like I mentioned before, making sure it's just relevant to this patient as of now at this admit for this diagnosis, for this whatever that brought them to the hospital to begin with. Don't give a whole story about this patient from 20 years ago, please. We don't want to hear a whole story. We just need to know the meat and potatoes of this patient and able for us to take care of them for this shift. So make sure you guys are doing that. And then just follow up with the nurse if they have any questions, any concerns, anything that they can help or anything that you can help address with this patient before you leave for your shift. So. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed watching that clip and you want to see the full video to it, make sure you guys click the box here. If you enjoy watching these kind of videos and you want to see more videos from the Nurse Kristen YouTube for pre-nursing, nursing student, new grad nurses, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button over here. 